right, so this is the razor. This is the razor. This is the one that started me on this journey of shaving, the Gillette Sensor XL. Now, if you've got one of these somewhere, if you see one of these at a yard sale, garage sale, buy it. Because if you have the original metal handle version or any of the limited versions, they're worth lots of money, especially if you have one of these cases with a little mirror in it. Snap them up, a little bit of water, a little bit of agitation, a little more foam. Say it with me. A little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a little bit more foam. Say it again. <laughs> The XL wasn't the original. The sensor was the original, and that's probably even more expensive. The XL added this little strip here, rubberized micro fin, sort of rubber guide. It was supposed to comb the hair or lift the hair as you cut it. Two blades, if you can see that, two blades. Loop strip up top, micro fin technology at the bottom, rubber guide, and a subtly pivoting head. This was awesome technology. Pretty much, if you were shaving with a cartridge, you were using this back in the day. I started shaving towards the latter half of the 80s, so yeah, I'm old. Like 89. You know, I'd be using this. And to complement this retro shave, I'm going to be featuring a retro-themed shaving soap and splash. Aurelius, from the fine folks at Elysian Soap Shop. Marcus Aurelius, a man of tremendous character, intellect. Uh, and this soap is wonderful. Check that out. Wonderful soap. Wonderful scent. We'll get into that. I'm gonna go back to my favorite brush, which is Pacific Shavings, natural cork handle, synthetic badger brush. And what's great about synthetic badger is it looks, it feels, it performs probably better than badger. And it's not badger, but it does. It looks and feels like badger. It looks like real hair, guys. But it doesn't have the negative properties of real hair. So you don't have to wet soak it. You can go right into the water, right into the lather, you're ready to go. A natural brush you have to soak or you should soak for a few minutes so the water can soak into the pores of the hair believe it or not also no badger is ever harmed with a synthetic brush so when they harvest those badgers for, for your brush hair it's real badger hair come on also easier to maintain it's more sanitary it's just a better brush this natural cork handle is easy on the hand it's very light it floats Get the brush while they still last guys there's only a few out i'll leave a link somewhere in the description box or in the link tags pick this brush up you will not be disappointed not not pun intended all right let's let's get to it now today i'm going to be doing something different i read somewhere that there are benefits of not shaving in the shower, not steaming before you shave. We'll see if that works for today's shave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lather up. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water on to make contact with the skin and we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's get to lathering. Now, I love this oversized container, guys. I love the oversized containers from Elysian. And the reason I do love it, just a little bit of water on that brush, go right into the tin. You don't need a shaving bowl and you're not making a lot of mess. I'll do uh, about 30 swirls or so in that foam. And I have a nice little bit of lather or a nice little bit of cream. A little near hot water on the skin and I'll go right on start lathering uh smell is divine guys nice amber citrusy kind of earthy feel about it that opens up 
as you lather it on. But subtle. I mean, what I love about Elysian soaps is they're subtle. They're not knocking you over the head with fragrance. It's fragrance that kind of works with you. So if I'm a little dry here, add a little bit of water, come back up. A little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a lot more foam. As you can see, look at that foam. All right. In carpentry, in carpentry, there's a saying, measure twice, cut once, which essentially says be prepared be measured, know what you're doing, line it up. Don't just half-ass it. I've been making this mistake with my sideburns. I don't want to cut here. So I'm going to make a little line here. Take it right up to there. Make sure you line up where you want to cut. All right. Measure twice. Cut once. Okay, here we go. 80s technology, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Still a great shave. Now, on the cartridge side of the business, less is definitely more. Two blades, they don't clog. I'm going with the grain, so the hair on my face is growing down, your face is growing down. So use that and shave down. Nice, look at that. Just a nice, quiet, calm, really good shave. And a slight form factor, so you can get all up into the nooks and crannies. You can get over by your sideburns, no problems. You know, back in the day, there were all these Volkswagen Beetles and Bugs riding around New York and speeding around New York. They were kind of funky engine in the back and they just drove. There wasn't any luxury about it, but it just drove and it drove and it drove and it drove and it drove, and it drove or you drove it. Just kept going. My uncle, Promised me his beetle. He said, Boy, when you get old enough to drive, you can have this beetle. I was so damn excited. It was green. Like a hunter green. I was so, but I was nine. And by the time I was ready to drive, he gave it to a, a woman he was dating. It hurt me, boy. But they worked. And then people started saying, well, you know, if these things worked and everybody had them, they were driving them all over, speeding down the LIE. Why did they discontinue the Beetle? Because they worked so well. They were so easy to maintain. But nobody bought new ones. I think the same applies to this razor. It worked so well that they had to invent, you know, they had to invent a new product 
that was bigger and better because everybody was good. You got your shave done and you were good. You can get up in the nooks and crannies with this razor. Ah, oh, yeah. Better than most, guys. 80s technology, guys. I'm going to go back to a little near hot water. Put another layer of foam on, and I'll do a final cross grain pass the get right pass you don't need three passes with these carts you can do them if your skin can handle it my kit mine can for the most part but today I'm doing two all right again if I wanted to beef up the lather just add a little bit more water a little bit more agitation. A little bit more foam. You see that? A little bit of water, a little bit of agitation, a little more foam. Say it with me. A little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a little bit more foam. Say it again. <laughs> again, we're gonna measure twice, cut once, make sure you keep those sideburns the same length. I try to look at a part of the ear, ear. So right here, right there. Good enough for government work. You want your side sideburns. You want you want your sideburns to be relatively the same length, unless you're going for a new style. All right. Eighties technology. This is 80s technology, guys. Sensor XL. That'd be a good thumbnail right there. A little bit of water, a little bit of agitation, a little more <laughs> foam. Say it with me. A little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a little bit more foam. <laughs> cross grain. Let's do the cross grain. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Nice. All right, let's do cross grain up here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Let's get up here. Oh, yeah. Now, as I've gotten older, I've gained a little weight, so I don't have as pronounced an Adam's apple as I used to. But for the folks that do, and you want to shave there it's always like Ugh. so here's a good trick swallow and hold it it removes the adam's apple from play and there you go all right guys nice easy shave i'll jump into the shower i'll clean up steam up get all this off and then we'll apply the aftershave all right let's do it 80s Technology. Say it with me. A little bit more water, a little bit more agitation, a little bit more foam. Say it again. <laughs> All right, so out of the shower. And I'll tell you, to me, shaving without steaming in the shower or at least steaming with a washcloth is not the way to go. I feel a little bit more irritation than I would, especially here on the neck. And it just wasn't as enjoyable. Now for you, that may be the way to go. I've heard people shave with cold water, other people shave with hot water or warm water. 
Do what works for you at the end of the day and you'll come out on top. All right, so Aurelius Aftershave Splash. Again, great products, guys. Get over to Elysian Soap Shop and support them. Shannon and her team do an awesome job for us every day with new scents that are just really cool. Ah, oh, yeah. Goes on nice. I'm going to add a little bit more. It's so nice. The Golden Elixir of the Elysian Soap Shop. Pick them up at ElysianSoapShop.com. You can also get them at Pastor Pharmacy. Just get them and let them know the average guy sent you. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that kind of drift down memory lane with this beautiful Gillette sensor. Again, guys, if you see them at a yard sale, at a, an estate sale, at any kind of you know flea market or you know a little knickknack, nostalgic shop, grab it, put it in your shave collection. Hopefully you'll get the little stand that it came with and you'll be ready to go because these are worth some money today, believe it or not. All right. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now, Haley, roll the music. Thank you.